overcoming obstacles with reconfigurable robot using deep reinforcement learning based on energy reward function. The R-Star is a crawling robot capable of reconfigure its shape and move the location of its center of mass using a sprawl and a four-bar extension mechanisms. The first simulation environment includes a step obstacle in a range of heights the robot has to climb on. We use the proximal policy optimization algorithm with continuous state and action spaces, such that the dimensions of the obstacle are included in the agent's observation. To improve the autonomous learning of overcoming obstacles with the R-Star, we proposed an energy-based reward function that makes use of the torques and motion of the robot mechanisms. The beginning of the learning process is presented. The agent randomly interacts with the environment and learn from that experience. The step climbing technique obtained from the learning is presented for a step at different heights. The overcoming methodology changes depending on the height of the step. The robot was able to climb up to 81 millimeters, while in training the maximum height was 70 millimeters. We compared the energy-based reward function with two alternatives, a movement-based and a minimum time-based reward functions. The results show that the energy-based reward produced superior results in terms of convergence time, energy consumption, execution time, and obstacle height. To verify the obtained results, we compared the different reward functions in additional obstacle environment. This environment includes a two-stage narrow passages obstacle. The beginning of the learning process is presented. The overcoming technique for a range of dimensions of the obstacles is presented. The R-Star makes minimal use of the sprawl mechanism, depending on the size of the passage. Also, in this environment, the energy-based reward outperformed the movement and minimum time-based rewards in terms of convergence time and the performance of the trained agent. We compared the trained agent performance with those of human operators. The results proved that all the three different types of learned models were superior to human experts.